Three! Iceberg, right ahead! Thank you. From the moment they spotted the iceberg, Titanic was doomed. And even while reversing the engines and turning the ship away from it, it was too late. as the massive iceberg ripped a hole in the side of Titanic's hull. 1,500 people instantly died. Not technically instantly, but their fate had been made. Titanic has always been a story that I have always wondered about because Titanic has so many secrets and deep within her hull that she's not telling us. Every year that new information comes out, it's like Titanic is trying to tell us how she sank, why she sank, and who helped her sink. You say, what do you mean, helped her sink? There's a lot of stories going around that there were other things that caused the weakness of the metal in the ship that also led to her fate. There was a fire in Boiler Room 10 that lasted all the way up to April 13th a day before she struck the iceberg, which weakened her hull. It was a coal fire in coal bunker number 10. So here we are, 110 years later, on the 110th anniversary of her sinking. Do you remember Titanic as if it was yesterday? Do you know what it would have been like to have been on that ship, trying to get off, struggling to save your life, save your family? Could, as the band played, Near my God to thee, as people were rushing to save their lives, rushing to lifeboats, rushing to save themselves, trying to get out from the lower decks, the band continued to play. Try to imagine what it was like if you would have been on that ship as it was sinking, as it broke in half, as it plummeted to the ocean floor. What would you have done? What would you have said? Would you have tried to help save the ship? Would you have abandoned ship? Or would you just simply stayed on the ship with your loved ones and perished together? This is the Titanic Cemetery that is in Holfax. And every tombstone you see here was a life lost on Titanic. Including Mr. Bruce Ismay, who was one of the designers of the Titanic. There are ghost stories, haunted stories, and spooky stories about the Titanic, but to this day, we still don't know all the answers. The James Cameron movie is a great source to get answers and kind of see how things went down. There is some eyewitness people that survived the Titanic tragedy that have lived to tell what they saw, heard, and uh, as far as I know, there's still maybe one or two survivors that are still living today. Maybe they have died, I don't know. But as the Titanic rusts and falls apart at the ocean floor, which it is deteriorating and it is disappearing, within another 20 years, there probably will just be a little rust spot on the bottom of the ocean floor that was called the Titanic. I have done several reports on Titanic on school. Titanic has always been something that has always thrilled me and that I've always thought about. But if you want to learn more about Titanic, you can go check out one of the four museums that are throughout all the world. There is over 400 artifacts inside those. They are 50% scale builds. You can go inside, feel how cold the water was that night. You get to see some artifacts that were brought up from the actual ship. And uh, it's pretty cool, so go check it out. Artifacts as in life preservers that a passenger wore as they were fighting for their life. And a big hull section of the ship that was brought up from the ocean floor. You can even try your best at staying up on the decks as the Titanic sank at different angles. I definitely plan to check out one of these awesome museums to honor those who perished on Titanic.
So again, 109 years later, Titanic is still here. She's still leaving mysteries. She's still answering them. And uh, she's still on the bottom of the ocean floor, where I think she belongs. Right around where the wheelhouse was, and the big wheel, which was mounted on this pedestal you see here, has several plaques that you see towards the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Those have been put there by different people that have visited the wreck of the Titanic, honoring those who have died on Titanic. And I believe after Titanic is said and gone, those will still be laying on the ocean floor.